Well, let's talk about our temperatures. It's been on the cold side here basically since right after Christmas and much of the month of January. We saw a lot of blue showing up there. One or two days it'd spike up, but uh, hey, look, we're on an upswing here for at least the next couple days above normal temperatures coming our way. Now the trade off is though that live look in Winterville Pick Community College, a lot more clouds in the sky today than we saw yesterday. But to see the breeze here on the reflected of the tree, yeah, that's helping to warm us up with those southwesterly winds. Most of the rainfall remains well west of uh, uh, Raleigh, Durham, Fayetteville area. I can't rule out again a spotty shower or sprinkle streaming in, especially in towards uh, Duplin County later on this afternoon. But the majority of us should remain dry for us here and even uh, east of uh, the uh, Outer Banks. We are looking at a decent amount of sunshine holding out for Ocracoke right now. But with the cooler water temperatures only in the 50 degree range, it's only so warm you're able to get the air. So we've got low to mid 60s along the coast, but 70s for inland spots in spite of that cloud cover. Thanks to those gusty south southwesterly breezes for us here. And we have seen wind gusts inland spots in excess of 15 to 25 miles an hour. Take a look at future track here. As far as those winds, they will be remaining rather brisk for today and then fairly gusty out of that south southwesterly direction tomorrow. This is all ahead of the front. Notice by late tomorrow afternoon that front slides through those winds go northerly and we're talking about wind chills in here on Saturday, making it feel like barely near that freezing mark with those blustery north northeasterly winds starting to kick in. So we'll add a couple more degrees to where we are right now. Low to maybe even mid 70s, not out of the question with that high level cloudiness out there. Look at overnight lows, 50s and low 60s. That's warmer than our average highs for this time of year. And then eventually we'll get those warmer temperatures. One more day for us tomorrow ahead of the front. A lot of ice, snow, sleet, freezing rain, just horrible travel issues for the uh, central plains, the Ohio Valley up to the northern mid-Atlantic and in New England. Waves of low pressure tracking along that front. Last one comes through, maybe a brief downpour. and I can't even rule out a rumble of thunder late tomorrow evening. That sweeps on and off the coast. High pressure slides in with much colder temperatures, but sunshine around for the weekend for us here. Yesterday, I was thinking we get another low coming up on Sunday. It looks like that one's going to be delayed until Monday. And as a result, not worried about any wintry weather for any of the chocolate fest festivities this weekend.